because we're losing a lot of people because of the internet. And we have to do something. We have to go see Bill Gates and a lot of different people that really understand what's happening. We have to talk to them, maybe in certain areas, closing that internet up in some way. Somebody will say, oh, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. These are foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. When do we beat Mexico at the border? They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. Well, I have a lot of men down here right now. We have over 100 and we have about 125 coming. So we'll have a couple of hundred people down here. Isn't it hypocritical for you saying that illegal immigration is killing this country to be employing illegal well, immigrants? I read the story and we're building a great hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue and it's being done beautifully. And we're very, very, I'm very cognizant of that. Anderson, you have either 11, anywhere from 11 to 34 million illegal immigrants in this country. They're all over the place. Nobody knows even where they come from. Can you they probably come some from the Middle East. You don't know where they're coming from. What they say is several of the men who hail mostly from El Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala have earned U.S. citizenship or legal status through immigration programs targeting Central Americans, fleeing civil wars or natural disasters. Others quietly acknowledge that they remain in the country illegally. They don't they give They have numbers. to give us the names because we have, you but know, But you know, illegal, or they're no, not no, going to give no, you names. They have to give us the names. And I have to say this. Uh, from what I heard, and I just checked it this morning because I asked a question because I read the article also, we are absolutely in beautiful, perfect shape. Now, I wish they'd give us the names. We would get rid of them immediately. Do you think, can you guarantee that you don't have illegal or undocumented workers working for you in hotel projects or various projects? I, I can't guarantee it. How can, I, how can anyone? We have 34 million in the country. I used to hear 11. Now I hear it's 34 million. I can't guarantee anything. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. There'd be a database system that tracks the Muslims here in this country. There should be a lot of systems beyond database. I mean, we should have a lot of systems. And today you can do it. But right now we have to have a border. We have to have strength. We have to have a wall. And we cannot let what's happening to this country happen in the your White House would like to implement. Oh, I would certainly implement that. I would say 15 to 20 billion dollars. You're talking billions and billions of dollars. And uh, it's irreparable, irreparable. They're sending people that have lots of problems. You know, you have one guy over there shouting. We have thousands of people, and you'll read about him tomorrow. They'll say, oh, the, the, the room had a, a picket. All right, yeah, get him the hell out of here, will you please? Get him out of here. Throw him out. Stunning new video capturing a Trump supporter sucker punching Rakeem Jones in the face. The attack as deputies were escorting Jones away after disrupting a Trump rally in North Carolina last night. Jones yelling at the jeering crowd before he was blindsided. Get out of here. Go home to mom. Sheriff's deputies walking right by the attacker, instead going after Jones. You ain't got to grab my I'm walking and as I turn, as soon as I turn, he hit me dead in my eye. 78 year old John McGraw was unrepentant, speaking to Inside Edition. Knocking hell out of that big mouth. He deserved it. The next time we see him, we might have to kill him. No, we had it the other day. I got criticized. We had it the other night. I had a lot of people and one guy who was seriously obese. He complained when I mentioned that food stamps, we have a lot of people on food stamps. And the guy went crazy and they said that wasn't politically correct. Who cares? We all have a weight problem. Yeah, you can get him out. Yeah, get him out. Get him the hell out of here. Get him out of here. Get out. Get him out of here. Yesterday at that large rally you had, there's video going viral of an African-American protester from Black Lives Matter who appears to have gotten roughed up. And this guy started screaming by himself. And they did, I don't know, rough up? He should have been, maybe he should have been roughed up because it was absolutely disgusting what he was doing. Walk on White Plains. Amen. Okay. We have a problem in this country. It's called Muslims. We know our current president is one. Right. You know he's not even an American. We need this first question. This is man. First question. <laughs> but anyway, we have training camps growing where they want to kill us. Mm -hmm. 
That's my question. When can we get rid of We're going to be looking at a lot of different things. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that, and a lot of people are saying that bad things are happening out there. We're going to be looking at that and plenty of other things. If you're pathological, there's no cure for that, folks. If you're a child molester, a sick puppy, you're a child molester, there's no cure for that. If, oh, no, if oh, she posed, it would be fine. But if they put her picture yeah, on... Yeah, but it depends on what goes inside the magazine. Well, see, that's inside her gripe. That's right. this girl's gripe. And, mm-hmm. and People there assume nothing. there'll be nude, nude photos. Right, you do assume Misleading. that with Playboy. Okay, she, if there the weren't, you wouldn't have an issue with it then. If they were using her to... I don't think Ivanka would do that inside the magazine, although she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! Stop it! <laughs> you know what? You answer first, and then, Dad, you answer oh, also. This is tough. Okay, Ivanka, what's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. <laughs> Creepy. So I'm not, I know. So, so I'll, I'll just go into a very simple and boring answer. How about our women? We have to take care of the women. They call me the ratings machine. So I have, uh, you know, she she gets out and she starts asking me all sorts of ridiculous questions. And, you know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes, uh, blood coming out of her wherever. Which is independent, uh, says... Don't be naive. You're a very naive person. <laughs> the Pew You're Research a- says that there are uh, four... Uh, Immigrants on the whole create are. Cre- Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Try getting it out. Go ahead. And this was before he chose Sarah Palin, who was the one I ended up voting for. Um, but that was for Sarah. Uh, when asked why I would jump in into a primary, trying to stern it up a little bit, maybe, and choose one over some friends who are running, and I've endorsed a couple others uh, in their races before they decided to run for president. This is a woman that, from day one, I said, if I ever do this, I have to get her support. Sarah, on behalf of myself, my family, and the country, I want to thank you very much. Thank you, Darren. Thank you. Come on, we'll sign a couple of things. I said to somebody that is really the messenger, the messenger is important. I drop a 25% tax on China. Listen, you motherfuckers, we'll tax you 25%. No. And surveillance is okay. If you don't mind, I want to be, I want to surveil, I want surveillance of these people that are coming in, the Trojan horse. I want to know who the hell they are. I want surveillance of certain mosques, okay? If that's okay. I want surveillance if we have to, and I don't care. I want, are you ready for this, folks? Are you ready? Oh, they're gonna make it such a big deal. They're gonna make it so big. He said something so politically incorrect. That's why we're going to hell, because we're so politically incorrect. Written by a nice reporter. Now the poor guy, you gotta see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said. Ah, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember. Oh, maybe that's what I said. This is 14 years ago. He still, they didn't do a retraction. But we're fighting a very politically correct war. Yeah. Well, we see that the happening other thing in is with the terrorists, you have to take out their families. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. They, they care about their lives. Don't kid yourself. Mr. But they Trump. say they don't care about their lives. You have to take out their families. I watched when the World Trade Center came tumbling down. And I watched in Jersey City, New Jersey, where thousands and thousands of people were cheering as that building was coming down. Thousands of people were cheering. So something's going on. We got to find out what it is. Ja, guten Abend nach Berlin. Wir stehen hier ungefähr vier Blocks vom World Trade Center entfernt oder das, was davon übrig geblieben ist. Und neben mir steht Donald Trump. Donald Trump hat selber einige Gebäude in der Gegend. Ich werde ihn kurz dazu befragen. Mr. Trump, do you have any interest in the area down there that has been affected? I have a lot of property down there, but it was unfortunately affected by what happened to the World Trade Center. Um, vielen Dank, uh, Mr. Trump. Danke. Thanks a lot. Danke. Ja, danke. Did you see Bernie Sanders? See, he was politically correct. Two young women came up to the podium. They took over his microphone. I promise you that's not gonna happen with me. I promise, never gonna happen, not gonna happen. Can't let that stuff happen. So let me, let me see this. Where are you 
from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. And is this a setup? Did I ever meet you before? Huh? I'm Hispanic and I vote for Mr. Trump. We vote for Mr. Trump. Yes, Mr. Trump. We love you. you. We love you. Love All you. the way to the White House. Donald Trump is not at all who people think he is, and I'm very surprised that conservatives are embracing him. Um, in, for example, uh, Donald's most famous building, the Trump Tower, uh, instead of building it as a steel girder building, he chose to build it out of concrete, a 58-story, he says 68 stories, a 58-story concrete building built by a company called a &S Construction. And who owned a &S Construction? Uh, Fat Tony Salerno, the head of the Genovese crime family in New York, and Paul Gambino, uh, I'm sorry, Paul Castellano, the head of the Gambino family. This isn't the first time, though, this has been an issue. Daily Beast today, there's an article, I don't know if you've seen it, the headline says, they're talking about the building we're sitting in right now, they're saying Trump Tower was built on undocumented immigrant backs. That How many years ago was that? This was, what, Th 75? 35 years 35 ago. 35 years ago. Yeah, they said 35 years ago. But this was a court case, 200 illegal immigrants, Polish workers, guys working for five dollars. Anderson, I hire a contractor. The contractor then hires a subcontractor. They have people. I don't know. I don't remember. That was so many years ago. 35 years ago, they said we had some... This was a court case settled in 1999. You settled okay, with it's them. all right. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I remember the case. Uh, when Trump used the same company for other projects that he built, even though they were more costly than using steel girder construction. When he tore down the Bonwit Teller building to make way for the Trump Tower, he had about a dozen union house wreckers on the site and about 150 Polish workers, all of them illegally in the country, who he paid four to five dollars an hour and who did not have hard hats. And Trump claimed in a lawsuit that he had no idea that these workers uh, were, were there in any way other than an appropriate way. And a federal judge mocked him, pointing out that they were easy to spot because they were the ones who had no hard hats. When you have to go back 35 years to tell me about something, I think that's pretty pathetic, to be honest with you. Uh, Donald's personal helicopter pilot, Joseph Wexelbaum, was a convicted major cocaine and marijuana trafficker. So let me, let me say this. Where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Colombia. Whose criminal case landed before, of all people, Judge Marianne Trump Berry, Donald Trump's sister. Permit me to congratulate you on entering the best job in law. Um, there are too many lawyers. Uh, I mean, as a practical matter, um, it's, not, it's not a particularly good way to make a living. Criminal cases, at least some of you will find, as I have. She said, I don't want any stories. And I don't know that that's, I mean, certainly what he said about her is horrible. They, you know, they made her sound just terrible. Are the most interesting and, yes, the most gripping part of that job. And all of you will find that when a big criminal case falls into your lap, your civil docket will no longer hum like a well-oiled machine. Can you imagine my sister? Well, I, I think, I think, first of all, my sister has nothing to do with me. By the way, my sister was appointed by Ronald Reagan. Elevated, elevated, I believe, in the Clinton administration, but uh, she was appointed, originally appointed by Ronald Reagan. I mean, she's a federal judge at a high, high level. Shall we have the same parents? Now, uh, Judge Barry recused herself, but she also, in the process, made every other judge in the federal system aware of the sensitivity of this particular case. I swear to you, I think she's totally beautiful and great. I never met her before, I swear. And uh, in addition, Donald Trump has been found in the past repeatedly to have not paid people he owed money to. It is a standard business practice of his. What I will do is I'm going to take our money back from China, and China's going to like us. He has let people think that he fixed Woolman Rink uh, in Central Park for free. Donald, you performed a great public 
service. He was paid $10 million, but some of his contractors were never paid because he told them this was a public service project. They will know I'm not playing games. And he's been sued innumerable times for racial discrimination at his businesses. He's been found to have engaged in racial discrimination. Uh, he's not at all who he appears to be. Right, right. But I had to get my news from the Inquirer, so I think I'm the real victim here. Oh, absolutely. I think we should move on. Where we should move to is the National Enquirer story that has reported that Ted Cruz has allegedly had affairs with at least five mistresses, including you've been named, Amanda. I'm and sorry. So I don't think that's like moving on at to all, that. Adriana. <laughs> total media blackout. The only way you knew that he was caught in a totally embarrassing sex scandal was that suddenly he was just whitewashed out of the news. If somebody brought him up, they'd cut to a commercial break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, well, I'd like to know, you know, if we're going to call uh, Donald Trump's character into question, I would like Ted Cruz to issue a statement uh, whether or not the National Enquirer story is true that he has had affairs with many women, including uh, you were named, Amanda. Will you uh, denounce this story or will you, will you confirm <laughs> it? It is complete and utter lies. It is a tabloid smear. All right, let me, just step in, let me step in really quick. Amanda, I will give you a second to, let me just be very clear. It will come as no surprise to our viewers. CNN has no reporting on what you're talking about coming from the National Enquirer. The National Enquirer published a story. It is a story that quoted one source on the record. Roger Stone, Donald Trump's chief political advisor. Let me be clear, this National Enquirer story is garbage. It is complete and utter lies. It is a tabloid smear. And it is a smear that has come from Donald Trump and his henchmen. It is attacking my family. And what is striking is Donald's henchman, Roger Stone, had for months been foreshadowing that this attack was coming. And by the way, I can think of no circumstance in which um, a Republican president would, would say something simply to please the base that he didn't really mean. There may be some things he didn't get to, there may be some things he'd double cross us on, mm -hmm. and then he'll lose like George Bush raising taxes, or you know, Reagan didn't get around to abolishing the Department of Education. And I don't know, given the choice between the Department of Education and the Soviet Union, I'll admit it's close. <laughs> uh. I'll leave it to you to speculate on how this whole race is going to go. Uh, I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. And the reason is because I have a lot of faith in the American people. But I don't even know why a liberal would, would need to restrict the audience. Well, in Hillary's case, she probably needed to restrict, as I was saying, about possible assassination threats. They'd come from the left. And Hillary was being getting crazy protests from Code Pink. Amanda, go ahead. I mean, what's out there is tabloid trash. If someone wants to comment on it, they can talk to my lawyer. It is categorically false. You should be ashamed for spreading this kind of smut. Donald Trump supporters should be held to account for no, it. I'm not, and I will I'm not, not be intimidated. Smut. I will continue hey, to make my thoughts known about Donald Trump, and I am not backing down. Now, you endorsed uh, Governor Romney. I did. Uh, are you in contact with him all the time? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you guys talk about? Just general. I tell you what, he has a stance on China, which is a country that's just ripping our heart out. I mean, we just do nothing to protect ourselves that I really like. That's a line of clothing. Now, where were these made? These were made, I don't know where they were made, but they were made someplace. But they're great. It's ties, shirts, cufflinks, everything sold at Macy's, and they're doing great. Number one selling tie anywhere in the world. Ties? Where are the ties they made? These are too. beautiful ties. They are great ties. The ties are made in where? China? China. Ties are made in China. <laughs> Instead of telling everyone to vote for Donald, I'm saving a ton of time by He's posting this video through the internet and it was our idea i don't want them using our internet we should be using our most brilliant minds to penetrate the internet and find out Ooh, exactly I like where one. isis is and everything about isis and we can do that if we use our good people that's not how it works that's not how any of this works that's not how the internet works for this and so many other reasons jews someone else we are anonymous, and we approve this message.